Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. I am out camping and it is cold out. It is uh, 29 degrees, um, but the feels like temperature is 20. So chilly, chilly, chilly camp out. And uh, one of the things you need for a chilly camp out is of course wood for the fire pit. And I got another company that sent me one of these saws to check out. <laughs> This is the uh, Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. It, it's a four inch chainsaw, so it's it's not the biggest chainsaw. The bar's only four inches. Um, includes one battery. You've got some good information here on the back on the uh, product selling points. So I'll read these to you real quick and then we'll, uh, we'll take this out of the box. Um, it's got a 20 volt rechargeable lithium battery. It says it lasts a long time. It's lightweight, it's 1.1 uh, it's kilograms including the battery um, let's see easy to carry of course it's small and uh, it uh, is high quality chain that's undergone undergone a deep quenching process to ensure smooth cutting in addition a pure copper motor is used which is very powerful so this thing includes the charger the battery a little bottle for oil the chain of course um, the tools for adjusting the bar in the chain and then the saw so let's open this up and take a look at it it just comes in a box i got one battery with it it doesn't uh, doesn't have a carry case or anything i did pre-charge the battery before coming out so here is the 20 volt battery 1.5 amp hour and then it just comes with one of these wall plugs right to plug that thing in and uh, here is the actual chainsaw so if you look at this I mean it's it's your standard fare mini pruning saw right small bar on it but it does have this little cover which is nice like a kickback cover um, it does have a safety button which is better than the last one that I had um, but there is no actual cover for the uh, for the chain but that's that's okay this is nice and small so uh, I am going to go ahead and grab the tools. Let's see what all it comes with. It's got the, uh, the wrench and in there it also should have, yep, there it is, a little screwdriver. And it actually includes not just a little bottle for bar oil, but it also has the bar oil in it, which is, which is nice. That's kind of a nice little, little add-on. And that's a nice little bottle. So let's get this all adjusted. That's good. And let's put the battery on. There we are. So let's take this out into the woods. Let's give it some, uh, put it through some tests. Let's get some wood and uh, I'll let you know if this is something that I, I would recommend. I like these little chainsaws. All right. so. I'm, I'm camped right here. You can see my tent there in the background and uh, there's a nice little trail here and out here is a pile of trees that the, uh, the state has already cut down to help clean up the park and everything and I can just walk out to this and uh, get some more firewood which which is convenient and uh, normally you would take uh, like a bow saw or something to come out and grab wood. These little Electric chainsaws are great for this. Make short work out of it. It's uh, just kind of a good way to get some firewood if you need it. This looks like it's some pretty big pieces of wood here. Big big trees that they have cut down. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a test for this thing to see how well it does. If it can actually chew through some of this. And of course, this pile is kind of haphazardly put together. I might need to climb up this to see what I can do. As you can see, it's a, it's a big pile, big pile of trees. Oh, and it's cold. Whew. But there's some stuff in here that I think I can get to. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but in here there's some that looks like somebody's been cutting on. And so I'll go in there and, and cut some of this as well. All right, so we'll start with something small. I mean, this is this is not even going to be a challenge for this. And that, you know, come on, that's, that was a nice small piece there. But did that real quick and real easy. So let's find something that's a little bit more of a challenge for this. So I'm 
walking through this mess. Not sure if this piece is already broken off. Oh, no, that's not bad. Let's get this one out of the way. So I can get in here and get this. And that was pretty simple. That's a little bit bigger piece. And how about something like this? This is probably about what I would say is maximum for this. down there now I can't get to it so you can see that was that was a pretty good size piece right and still within the, the limitations of the bar here around to this side see if I can find some other pieces that'll be good uh, here's a good piece you can see this is definitely gonna take the limits of this thing let's try this out So as you can see, that's, that's about maximum right there. But it, it tore through it pretty quick. Now that is really green wood. So that was a pretty good test of that because this, this is really green wood here. So it worked a little hard to get through it, but I'm gonna take this back to camp so I can uh, show everybody how well this little thing works and, uh, and let them uh, do some cutting with it. See what their opinions are of this nice little chainsaw. So the important thing to keep in mind with these, these little chainsaws is their light duty use, right? They, uh, this one has finally cooled back down, but when they overheat, they stop. That's not a bad thing. You don't want to burn out the motors on it, but you got to take it easy with this. And they actually have a note on here that, that kind of sums it up. Do not cut wood that is more than four inches in diameter. Well, of course, it's a it's a four inch bar on that thing. Do not overpress the machine when cutting wood. It's another important thing. When you're using this, let the blade do the work. The chain will, will grip and pull itself down. Don't press really hard. That will tax the motor as well. And when the machine's not in use, make sure you fully charge the battery, of course. But um, we've been using this here, making a bunch of cuts. We're cutting a bunch of these little small rounds so we can set Dutch ovens on the uh, picnic table without damaging the picnic table. But as we go through and make these cuts, this thing overheats, it stops working for a bit. You just let it sit, it'll cool down. So uh, just remember that, that something like this, it's not designed for huge jobs. It's great for a pruning saw and uh, and it's, it's good for stuff like this. We're gonna have a fun time with this around here, um, cutting wood and uh, just seeing what we can do, putting it through its paces. Um, but everybody here agrees, it's, it's nice and it's lightweight and that's, that's very impressive. Um, I've had several of these different types of chainsaws that have been sent to me and this definitely is probably the lightest one I've had and uh, it also feels like it's, it's built a lot better. They do have you know a safety guard on there and a safety switch which is great because the first one I got didn't have any of that stuff. And uh, it was just, it was just kind of scary to operate. This one, 
this one's working out really well and so far I'm pretty impressed. Just remember, don't expect to do big jobs with a tiny saw like this. We're gonna get back to making some more of these little, uh, little wood chunks. Thanks again, if you have any questions about this or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks everybody for watching.